Hello, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. So here I am on the water taxi near Paddington on the canal. And this is uh, the Regent Canal, I think. Yeah. And here we are, these very shishi offices, some of them very new. And like 20 years ago, it was a complete dump, just disused factories and warehouses. That's the back of St. Mary's Hospital. But uh, then um, all these um, very uh, trendy new offices start up here. Canal boats, some people live on these boats. Someone like me wouldn't be able to stand up properly even in the middle. You've got to pump out your, uh, your, your waste every so often and hand pump in diesel. Thieves come along in the middle of the night and try and nick your stuff. So you can deliberately label them the wrong way around. Label your um, excrement as diesel and your diesel as excrement. And then the thieves will be, putting, will be pumping your shit into their tank. All the rest of it. Uh, may I film you or not? Okay. Sorry. Okay, I couldn't afford to film that. But anyway, my taxi driver. And you'll like the price, it's free. Look at these little boats. So Paddington Station is in over there to the left. You can't see it from this angle. Um, and Paddington Green is over this way, so you can't see it because it's beyond these uh, buildings. And then there's a, then there's a sort of great, um, and then there's a road to the west, as in out of London, to the west of England. And to the north of that is Paddington Green, about a mile from where we are these days. And there's that song about that lady from Paddington Green. That was Bridgewater, as in South West England. So it's called Miss Bohan. Miss Behaven, oh, I get it, yes. Most droll. Anyway, I've never seen such a richly comic name for one of these things. Um, and a tiny little van for selling snacks and coffee and whatnot. So they say, you know, looking out on water is good for the soul. It's therapeutic, which is why people will pay a premium to have their office overlooking a body of water like this. Now, it's, it's not particularly cold in this country, so it almost never freezes to break the ice without too much difficulty. So these, these canal boats start from about 60,000 pounds, but there's a lot of maintenance you have to pay to moor, and you can't moor in London for more than a fortnight, certainly. In other parts of the country, you can rent for a little bit longer. So go through all the locks where they raise and lower the water level. That's what takes a long time. It's not particularly fast. And they were built up in the um, late 18th century, into the early 19th century, as a means of transport between goods. They're not fast, but very heavy goods can be transported easily. So long as you're not in a hurry, um, because you just need one one um, uh, horse on the towpath towing you along. You know, there's the wind doesn't really make an effect. If you can have some sort of an engine, the steam engine was coming in, then that would help as well. Sails, well, this wind's got to be going your way. If it's going against you, then you can forget it because you can't maneuver, there's no room to tack. Brunel building, says Mark Brunel, who was instrumental in uh, building a lot of this. Near, he was the chief engineer of the Great Western Railway. There is a bit of padding station in there. Um, and the Three Bridges Canal, he's responsible for that, um, which is um, obviously about, uh, about 10 miles further west of this. Okay, so that big red London bus going in towards Paddington Station. And beyond it, up high, you can possibly see some uh, vehicles passing back and forth. And they are the ones on that west road. So, there. And beyond that is Paddington Green. In fact, you probably can see one of the trees of Paddington Green. So, here we've got an idea of what is. Offices, and this is the R end of Panic Station. Well, what a voyage of discovery it is. We're not far from the London School of Journalism, the Frontline Club at Paddington, and so on. You see, it's not jam packed with passengers here. What, what, what a delight to uh, tour a bit of Regent's Canal in one of these. Then, the Regent's Canal within London, well, there's about 10 miles of it, just north of um, the Zoological Society of London. Oh, that's London Zoo to you and me. Um, and uh, you can go on, on a tour right down to Camden Market, one of these boats, at a sedate pace like this, time to take in everything. It takes a bit over an hour, and though uh, it costs about 20 quid, there you are, you don't get much for under 20 pounds in this town. Um, how about that? Creative, hey? Because by the 1950s, these, these canals were dead. They were filthy, they hadn't been maintained in decades. And um, people were just chugging junks into the old supermarket trolleys, bikes, and so on. They were there were so many toxic fluids, and the fish all died. 
but then they brought them back and they repaired them and they made them something viable, the city centres. A fascinating and attractive little feature. How about that? Good for the soul, hey? All right, well, that's cheered me up. A unique experience. I've never been on one of these canal boats in London until now. Okay, I'm going to...